Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 7, Episode 9 of Arrow called Elseworlds Part 2. So we start off with um, a really fun intro. So basically, um, Barry does Oliver's intro for Arrow. And then we got to Star City, where it's Argus versus uh, Deathstroke's son. I want to say it's Jay. I couldn't really hear it. I had to backtrack it like five times, and I heard it was Jay. <clears throat> so, really, really awesome fight scenes between Argus and him. Then off for Barry and Kara. Uh, pin him down and lock him up. And there's just mass confusion everywhere. <laughs> and... It gets slightly awkward with Felicity because Oliver doesn't want to tell her about what's happening. And Oliver doesn't believe Batman is real because they're going to go to Gotham and uh, Barry was talking about, wait, that's where Batman lives. And so they're going to Goth Gotham. Um, Oliver overshot. <laughs> Again, he's still getting used to uh, his speed um, powers. Then Barry found the Bat Sentinel. And then we have Batgirl sees them from afar, from another building. And we find out that Gotham is super shady. Like, all the one percenters, they get armored cars when they go shopping and have a private escort to get them back to their house. And then uh, some people try to rob um, all of them. Uh, Kara, Barry, and Oliver. And then... Um, <laughs> Barry goes ham, like Oliver Queen does, and literally have like a really cool fight scene. Then the cops show up, and then they get arrested. Then Felicity and Curtis talk. Then Cisco and Caitlin uh, walk in, and Cisco let it slip about the whole uh, body mind thing, about the whole situation. And Felicity is kind of pissed off about that. <laughs> And then we cut to where Barry and Oliver bicker in, in, um, in the jail cell. And then they got released on bail and meet the person. But on the way to that, um, they could, they arrive at Wayne Tech. Or the, at least the building. And Oliver said that Bruce left years ago. And they meet Kate Kane, who put them on bail. And then we cut to where Team Nerd is working. I'm refusing to tell old older reference from the crossovers and uh, working on everything and trying to create a device because someone's trying to open a breach they feel like. So um, then Cisco literally can't shut up when, about uh, to Felicity about like how, you know, like Iris knew like right away that, you know, Barry wasn't Barry and of course, you know, Felicity didn't have any of that. So... He just can't shut his face. And then Kate Kane said, um, talks to the group and, you know, says that uh, Bruce is, his co is her cousin and that the Wi Fi is Alfred. And then we cut to where Caitlin talks to Felicity and, you know, tries to help her understand and stuff. And they said the reason why Iris knew, you know, it was that wasn't really Barry is because they've been through a bunch of stuff like that before. So they're kind of used to it a little bit more than her. <laughs> and then we cut to where Oliver found John Keegan on the database because he stole the database from the police station. And Barry was like, you stole that from the police station? He's like, no, the flash did. And then uh, we cut to where uh, Kara talks to Caitlin, and then Kate says that John uh, Keegan works at Gotham Asylum. So then she said, okay, I gotta go tell the guys, and so she leaves. So she goes down to her back cave and suits up. Then uh, Team Nerd is basically getting a quantum sample slash trying to open a breach, and then uh, Jay kind of comes in a little bit says to get the book. And so, yeah. So Team Flash breaches in with the infra, with info to everyone else at Gotham Asylum. And so they go in there and they try to um, uh, 
helped Killer Frost to get in to Gotham Asylum. So we're going to send paper why there's why they are signing paperwork. The other team uh, goes to try to find the guy. So they find him and Oliver confronts him, and basically he won't undo every anything, and he escapes. And they have mayhem at the asylum where basically they let everyone out of the prison and everything, and everyone's beating each other up. Then Caitlin tries to talk to a girl, and she's just talking like really weird, like, and so uh, she blasts her with like super cold air, and kill, if the kill frost pops in, it's like you. And uh, knocks her out, and or try. And then they start fighting. Then the team um, put the everyone back on the cells. Like Diggle had really cool fight scenes in this. What like he was literally, like knocking out these inmates like like rag dolls. It's like boom. So that was pretty cool. And then we have Cisco got hit with a car. And it looks like some of the inmates were about to escape, but Batwoman comes in and smashes the uh, van and knocks out the people. And then Supergirl got the book. Then Oliver messed up when he shot lightning at the girl because it knocked out Caitlyn. And basically, the, he hit some vials, and those were strong hallucinogens. So he was seeing um, the reverse flash, and Barry was seeing Malcolm Merlin. And so they were uh, fighting each other, but they thought they were fighting those two people. And it was like really, really incredible fight scenes. Like the way that worked, like it flitted between Oliver and Barry to uh, Malcolm and Reverse Flash, like alternating between the two. The, it was just so cool. I was super impressed. Then Batwoman comes in and breaks it up. And then Batwoman basically tells them to leave Gotham. It's like, y'all can go now. And so, uh, Card talks to her right before she leaves. And uh, she knows that it's obviously Kate Kane because of her um, X-ray vision. And so, um, they had a nice little moment. It's like, we would made it like a great team. So that was uh, neat. And then we cut to Felicity. It's going to be working on the lock on the book to decrypt it. And then Barry and Oliver talk about the hallucinations and what they saw and stuff and realize they all been through stuff. Because Oliver keeps on thinking that, you know, uh, Barry's place is just all sunshine and rainbows and stuff when he actually had to deal with a bunch of crap. But he always sees the positivity. And so, so they're starting to realize, realize everything for each other. So what they've gone through. Then we cut to where Oliver talks to Felicity and that was a cute little moment. Have a little uh, Elicity moment where they kiss. Then uh, Jay Carrick, who that's what I thought it was, but knows Barry Allen from Earth in 90, breaches in and tells them about the guy. I'm going to go ahead and be real. I forgot what the guy's name is already, but they named him The Monitor. Sent the book and then they see the guy on the TV, so they go to him and try to take him down, but um, he's telling them that there's someone else that's worse than him that's coming, and that he's trying to brace everyone for that. And then the guy breached out Jay and made the book disappear, and then he leaves, then gives the, the book back to John and tells him to rewrite it and to do better. And so he does. So um, Barry and Oliver are now outlaws. And Diaz tries to arrest him because he's an upstanding cop. And so Oliver was not having that. So he literally took him hostage for a second. Then they run for it. And then they try to escape and they run into uh, a black suited Superman. And that's the end of the episode. And the continuation will be tomorrow on Supergirl. Uh, A plus episode, crazy insane episode. The funny moments in there were hysterical, and I freaking loved it. It was just an A plus. I really liked everything that was happening in this, and the whole 
thing with Batwoman was super cool. I cannot wait to see that. I hope they make a, a TV show out of that because that looks really cool. So I'm very excited for the next episode. And what else? Um, oh, and also when they redid it, um, Barry and all of her outlaws. I don't know if I said that or not. But anyway, so that's kind of funny. And they're like the... I forgot what it said. Something twins. Like, I don't know what they said. Anyway, it was a really good episode. The fight scenes were outstanding in this episode. Like, super outstanding. I was very impressed with it. I loved it. So anyway, um, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just tell me your old thoughts down below. I'm check marking this to make sure that I've actually done it. And yeah. So just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video, which will be in about an hour for Legends of Tomorrow. Bye, everybody. <laughs>